welcome to the switching and control tutorial for the CarbonTrack CT100i. CarbonTrack can switch and control up to three loads or circuits using relays. The relays are connected in series between the circuit breaker and the load. You will use the CarbonTrack installer interface to commission the switches. The customer will be able to switch loads on or off and set timers via the user interface. The CT100i has three relay ports labelled 9, 10 and 11, which are configured to switch or control loads. The relays you will be using are of the normally open type, rated to switch up to 30 amps at 240 volts AC with a 12 volt DC coil. Each relay connects to the CT100i ports via a twisted pair cable with a Molex connector on one end and female insulated 4.8mm spade connectors on the other. The load is connected to the relay contacts via female insulated 6.8mm spade connectors. Please note that for each circuit or load that is switched, you will need to use 1 to 6 square millimetre cable dependent on the load or circuit capacity. It is recommended not to switch loads in excess of 20 amps. The CT100i switching ports must be populated in ascending order. If you are switching only one circuit or load, you must connect the relay coil into port 9 of the CT100i using the 4-pin Molex connector cable. When switching two circuits or loads, the second relay coil must be connected into port 10 of the CT100i using a 2-pin Molex connector cable. If you are switching three circuits or loads, the third relay coil must be connected into port 11 of the CT100i using a 2-pin Molex connector cable. Please be aware that switching will not work properly if you do not populate the relay ports in the ascending order. Here is a close-up of the relay and the relay cable. Please note that the relay coil is not affected by polarity. It does not matter how the red and black cables are connected to it. The relay has double-sided tape on the back. To attach the relay to the enclosure, just peel off the red film and press firmly into position. Make sure the area where you place the relay is free of dirt. Scour the surface to create a rough patch for the adhesive to hold properly. Now we will look at how to commission the switches. We assume that you have already completed the Carbon Track Installer Training Certification course and know how to use the commissioning program. Switching is configured in the second step of the Carbon Track commissioning process. You can add up to three switches. To configure a switch, click on Add Device Control and a small window will appear. You need to enter the right control ID, a meaningful control name and the control type. Please note that the control ID must be either 0, 1 or 2. They must be assigned to the corresponding port numbers of the CT100i. Control ID 0 is used to manage port 9. Control ID 1 is used to manage port 10. Control ID 2 is used to manage port 11. Switching will not work properly unless you follow these configurations. For control type, you must always select AUX. The other types are not enabled and switching will only work properly when the control type is set to AUX. Once you select control type, click Save Changes. Once a device control has been added, you can edit the name by clicking on Edit. If you want to change the control ID, you need to delete the control and add it as a new control again. To add more controls, repeat the process. Please remember to click on Save Changes, otherwise the control will not be stored. Note, as you can see in the example, the control ID for the second control is 1. Once you have configured all the switches or controls, click on Next to go to the third step of the commissioning process. Proceed with steps 3 and 4 of the commissioning process as usual. Once the unit has been commissioned, you will be redirected to the dashboard where you will be able to test the controls. Once you are on the dashboard, click on Devices at the top of the screen. The switches you configured will be available for testing at this stage. If you have set more than one switch, just scroll down. Toggle on the switch button and wait until you hear the relay contacts click. Please ensure the relay has closed the circuit properly. There should be voltage on the load side of the relay. Once you have confirmed that all the controls switches are working, demonstrate to the customer and then exit the dashboard. Now let's look at how to configure switching on a carbon track unit that has already been commissioned. Log in as if you are going to commission a device. 
search for the customer reference and click on it. Please note that the reference appears as reopened. Click on Edit for the relevant DIN. This takes you to the Device page. Scroll down until you reach the Device Controls section. Click on Add Device Control and add the controls or switches as described previously. Once you have set all the device controls, click on Commission Device. You will be redirected to the dashboard where you will be able to test the controls. This concludes the switching and control tutorial. You can download a printed copy of the material from the Quick Link section in the training portal. Please call CarbonTrack Tech Support if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.